Good morning. Good morning. It's the end of October, uh, half term, um, and we're off on another trip. Couldn't make up our mind where to go, so we're going back to France. So come with us and enjoy the views. Thirty-five minutes after leaving Folkestone, we were driving on French roads. Although the skies looked clear, the forecast was for torrential rain, so the plan was to go to the air in Calais for our first night. It's raining. Look at all that coming off the windscreen. Goodness me. Good morning in France, our first morning in France. And the heavens are opening up. After a late breakfast, a very late breakfast, the skies cleared and the sun came out. So whilst it's dry, let's take a look around this air de camping car at Calais. This air has just over 100 places. Entrance is barrier controlled and operated through a flotte bleu terminal. You enter your vehicle details and pay by card. For us, it was 11 euros a night. This air has excellent facilities. There are four motorhome service points. Each has a drive over grey water drop, a black waste or toilet disposal point that also had free water to rinse, and a good drinking water supply which cost three euros for a hundred litres. Bollards take cash but also tokens which you can buy from the terminal and as we've come to find in France there's plenty of rubbish disposable and recycling. Uh, to get out of this air we need a number. And you need to crouch down. And we've got to get down a bit. <laughs> Touch the script on for a few seconds. Into your personal code. Nothing to pay. There we go, sorted. Right. It's only a short walk from the air de camping car to Blerio Plage. We were on our way to Boulogne, so we drove, and it was free parking across the seafront. One thing we weren't expecting to see at Calais was a dragon, and this dragon is 12 metres high and 25 metres long. The Calais Dragon has its home on the seafront at Calais Blériot Plage. You can take a 45 minute ride across the seafront for €9.50 per person. Somebody having a sunbathe? Yes. This is the light. What date are we on? 28th of October. Well, that was a lovely walk across the seafront at Blerio Plage. Now on the road uh, towards Boulogne. We knew it rained a lot overnight and certainly first thing in the morning but what we didn't realise is how much water came down. As we drove across the uh, coast road, uh, villages were flooded out. Uh, you can see here that the mud was a good three to four foot up the side of the buildings. Uh, it really was uh, such a shame for the people that lived here. Yeah. 
We really hope that the uh, villagers get themselves uh, sorted and cleaned out. Unfortunately, there's an awful lot more rain forecast for the next few days. We're on our way to Bloin. We need to do a little bit of shopping. And as always, on our first shop, we use the clerks at Bloin. We spent far too much time and money in the clerks. So rather than pushing on further down the coast, we decided to stay at the air at Boulogne. This air is right on the side of the cliffs at Boulogne. Entry is through a barrier, but as we were there at the end of October, the barrier was open and we assumed it was free. You normally pay at this uh, payment kiosk, put your card in and it gives you a ticket for 24 hours. As I say, we thought it was free because all the barriers were open. The normal price is €8.70 for 24 hours, plus 45 cents tourist tax. Although the parking machine wasn't working, we did have a representative of the commune come round and collect the money. There are plenty of parking bays, but the majority you will need ramps because they are on a slope. There's a grey water drive over drain for your motorhome. There's also water, toilet drop and electricity on the bollard. And there's also plenty of recycling and litter bins. We had a lovely night's sleep here at Boulogne on one of the more flatter pitches. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. And after a not so early start, we're back on the road and we're heading for the seaside town of Le Quatre. Almost lunchtime, so we thought we would find the air here, park up for some lunch, and then have a quick wander around. Brits. 
Right, we found somewhere to park up. Plenty of sunshine for the solar panels. Whilst the girls getting lunch ready, let's have a look around this air de camping car at Le Crotoir. The air is barrier controlled. You drive up to the barrier. There are automatic number plate recognition cameras that take your vehicle registration number, and then you just drive through. The first hour is free. Then it's nine euros for 24 hours, with a maximum of three days stay. When you leave, you put the registration number into the payment terminal, and then use your card to pay. You can also use the Flowbird app. Services, you have a drive over grey water, there's a toilet drop, fresh water, and you can also get electricity, which is three euros for three hours. The fresh water connections here are slightly different. It's the first time we needed a mail to mail connector. The parking at the front of the inn, you get lovely sea views over Le Crotois. Right. Let's go back to the van and have a spot of lunch and today we're having a croque monsieur with a green salad. Okay, that's fed and watered. Let's go for a look around. Le Cretoy, or as we were told it's pronounced Le Cretois, is a small fishing village on the Bay de Son. In the 17th century, it was one of the biggest fishing ports on the Channel Coast. The promenade is backed by numerous seafood restaurants, bars and bistros. The Joan of Arc monument commemorates her imprisonment here for a month in 1430 while she awaited trial. Today is probably not the day for sitting out having a glass of wine with these gale force winds. Tram gives you a tour around Le Quatois and the history of the Bay de Somme. We had a lovely walk around the back streets of the town, so much so the time was getting on, so we decided to stay on the air here at Le Quatois. our video please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell for our next belly van adventure if you'd like to follow us on our travels we're on facebook we're on instagram and you can read our van diaries on blogger thanks for supporting our channel see you next time on our belly van adventures <laughs>